What is up everybody? Car is on the ramps and the bonnet is open. So that means it's tutorial time because something broke again. So no, I'm, I'm just making Audi sound bad there. Not again, it's just... Yeah, sometimes I get excited if something breaks because that means we can... We've got a video to make. We, we can fix something. <laughs> anyway, in today's video we are going to change the external housing, filter housing, on the gearbox. So basically, yeah, my cap came loose at the racing and it spilled freaking oil all over the place so I actually made a video specifically on what happened and what I did and uh, how I got back home and all that kind of things I actually made a post on basically my car broke off like at the track I thought it was bad I thought there was a hole in my gearbox or something turns out it was the external filter now I'm starting to run away with this video so in today's video I'm going to show you basically how to change the external housing let's quickly get to the car so for this video, we are going to have to go in underneath. I just want to show you guys quickly on top where it sits, basically, to give you guys an idea. Um, so this is obviously the engine. Uh, behind the engine is the gearbox. So if we actually quickly just follow it through down here, uh, this the shiny part of here, this is literally my gearbox. It's right over here. It actually goes much further. But basically, this is my drive shaft. Let's see if it can focus. There we go. This is my drive shaft going to the wheel, right behind it, that little black thing right over there, there it is, that is the external filter housing on the gearbox. Let's quickly go underneath. Alright, so this over here is my sump, this is my, uh, my front sway bar, this is my steering rack. Going further down, there's the gearbox with the uh, oil pan that goes to the inside of the gearbox. There is the filter housing right over there. So as you guys can see, that's how it looks like basically. And there are how many? One, two, I think there's supposed to be three screws. There we go. And then obviously the filter is in there. So yeah, in this video, we're basically going to change this. And it's going to be very difficult to get you guys a good video. Uh, the space is like so limited, but I'll try my best. Alright, I also basically stopped here because I forgot one of the most important things. Remember for me, my when, when I had my breakdown, my cap filter came loose so all my oil spilled out. I also removed the oil cap just to see uh, if it was the reason why it was loose and more oil came out. So initially, by now, my gearbox is probably as empty as it can be. Okay, but for you, your gearbox is still going to be full of oil. So uh, as soon as you remove that cap or your f uh, external filter housing, that oil is just going to pour out. And I mean like 7 liters. I don't even know how much gallons that is. If it's 4 or 5 gallons, I, I don't even know how gallons works. So I can imagine if it's half, maybe 4 gallons or something of oil is just going to run out. So I want to just tell you guys, please have one of these blue, like any kind of drum. So as soon as you basically remove it, there is going to come oil out. So there's going to be a spill on the floor and probably a spill on me. I'm going to try my best, obviously, not to spill too much. But also on your gearbox, there is a drain plug. I'm going to show you guys now by the oil pan underneath, exactly like your car's engine. So uh, it's a really, really advisable to first drain all your oil out. I know by now I basically have no oil. Also, my car sitting like on an angle. Uh, most of the oil will probably run to the back, but I will see still some oil coming out. So just a little heads up, guys, please. Just note that uh, there is going to come oil out. This is one of the most important things you guys need to know. And if you want to change your external housing filter, just, just the filter, there's going to be oil running out. So in the next video, I'm actually going to show you guys because I'm going to change the filter on the inside as well. Then I'll show you guys how to basically pour in the oil and the whole procedure, like how it goes. Anyway, guys, let's get back to the removing part. All right, so we're quickly going to start by loosening the bolts. So these bolts are T30, T30, T30s. One, two, three, and then the socket up there is a 13 millimeter. All right, so I'm gonna try to place the camera as good as I can. It's gonna be very difficult once again, but let's see if I can give you guys good footage of me actually removing this housing filter.
right, so the three uh, bolts has been removed and then the uh, bolt up there. So basically this external filter takes oil all the way down to the radiator. So basically it's, uh, it goes through the radiator which also allows the gearbox oil to cool down a little bit which is freaking awesome. So yeah, basically uh, what we're gonna do now is I'm first gonna push up, so where these oil pipes is, I'm first basically gonna push up to get it out there. I've got my drum right over here because there might be coming um like coming some oil out there. And once that is out of the way, basically this entire housing, you just pull it backwards and then it's out. So let's quickly try to see how this is gonna play out as. All right, so this is basically, is that wires in there? Oh my gosh. So this is basically how it looks like on the inside. Oh my word. So yeah, those pipes are the pipes that goes all the way to your radiator. Uh, so yeah, it's the one bolt, the two bolts and the three bolts. So basically, yeah, I forgot to show you guys, but right next to it, this big black metal over here, not this one, this is just like a, uh, just for some additional, uh, what do you call it, protection. So if there's anything in the bottom of the road heating up, it won't hit your oil sump of your gearbox or rather hit the metal. Anyway, right over there is the drain plug. So yeah, if you just follow it down, so here is your oil filter housing. There is your drain plug. Like I told you guys, I doubt there was gonna be a lot of oil that came out. And guess what? There was a little bit of oil that came out. I moved my drum way too late, so yeah, a little bit on the floor, but yeah, you won't see it now. So regardless, um, there is the drain plug. All right, so here is the new one, and then obviously here is the old one. So this is probably the best time for you to do a comparison test, just to make sure that everything is similar. So basically, here is a part, I can see the bolt is in the same place, where the other bolt bolt down on the inside. Well, that one can see a lot though, but let's just make sure. Yeah, basically that one we can't see a lot in, but that one we can see like a piece of plastic. It's just, you don't want to like, uh, just put it in and make like, don't, you're not sure that anything is right or not right. So basically there we go. There we go, everything looks good. So there is a difference on these uh, external filter housings. What I'm gonna do is I'm quickly gonna show you guys. So this is the ordinary uh, way. So basically this is where I believe Audi did us in. So look at it, you can see it just turns off. There's nothing actually holding it. And then if we go to the new one, Look right over there. So you can see this is this is actually like a special clip. So remember, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So basically, how it is now, if this cap has to turn, come on, focus. There we go. If this cap has to turn. This uh, this like kind of what do you call it? this piece? This flange sticking out here is gonna press against it. It's already like against it. So basically, it cannot turn loose until you actually like put a flat in there, wedge it up, and then you can loosen it up. So already this shows you that Audi actually knew about the problem because this is a new pro uh, new product of a year and this is like the revised external housing. So yeah, you guys can imagine that they knew about this problem. So if you guys are also having the A4 two liter quattro like me or even the V6, uh, the S4, because they have exactly the same gearboxes in, uh, you guys will obviously most likely also have this kind of filter and not this kind of filter so <clears throat> basically yeah this filter turned loose and let's just quickly remove the cap so you guys won't see any filter in there because here is the filter i actually removed it to see if i can find any metal shavings but everything looks good i must say everything looks good i doubt really my gearbox took any damage when the oil went out i was very lucky because i was it happened on my way back so when i was about to stop so yeah there we go the new one already has a filter in it i'm not gonna play around we're gonna leave it as is we're just gonna put it back in so yeah this is the old one so it does show you that originally there uh there was a problem they knew about it they revised the product and i never heard of this entire thing or any recalls that i'm aware of anyway let's get this part in 
we are finally at the part where we are going to install the external filter housing. It twists my tongue every time. <laughs> So let me tell you guys quickly, I went underneath, I got the, uh, what do you call it, the camera down there, I got all the tools down there, I'm like, this is going to be a quick install and all of that kind of things. Uh, and then when I was thinking like, okay, so this part goes in and I look, okay, there's new O-rings and everything. I was like, awesome, awesome, new O-rings. When I looked at the pipes going to the radiator, the, the O-rings there is already like, it's not bad. I can probably reuse it, but I mean like... Gearbox oil, if you guys are going to do this, Gearbox oil is very expensive, very, very expensive. I mean, like, unlike the car engine, we need five liters, you need about seven liters. Uh, they tell, they told me on a dry gearbox is about eight liters. So if there's never been any oil in there or whatever the case is. So seven liters of oil you have to buy. And it's not like it's just two liters more expensive than engine oil. You buy per liter and per liter, it's, trust me, it's very expensive. Um, so you can literally, now that I'm thinking about it, you can buy a 5 liter oil for 1 liter of gearbox oil. So I just told myself, do I really want to go back down there and repeat everything by just not changing those O-rings? Imagine those O-rings just goes bad and start leaking out and I know one day, oh, one day I have to fix that. But I'm there now, so I'm going to do it right. I called my local Audi. They don't have spare. They don't have spares at Audi, but they're gonna order for me tomorrow. So this video is gonna continue for you guys now. There's not gonna be any part two or whatever. It's gonna continue. I'm just letting you guys know. Don't do the, mis the same mistake then that I did. When you go and buy this external housing, go buy those two. I will show you guys quickly tomorrow. Uh, basically, I I think I can quickly show you guys. All right, I'm gonna do my best. So as you guys can see, uh, we have these two going into the engine basically and then these ones it goes to the radiator on top yeah they don't come with new uh o-rings so you have to purchase those o-rings separately so yeah i'm just gonna let you guys know don't do the same mistake as i did <laughs> okay so i'll see you guys now for me it's tomorrow but for you it's now it is such a nice rainy day today and we have our parts ah, let me get it so here is the two o-rings literally i had to wait to get these two o-rings and it's pouring today so yeah we gotta get back to the install So before I forget to mention, uh, if you're going to tighten the bolts, the three bolts of the T30 Allen key socket, the T30 bolts, basically those just hand tighten. You don't have to over torque them or make them too tight. Literally, even when I removed it, I was like, whoa, these things were like very, very loose because you don't have to tighten it really. Uh, just make sure it's there, it's holding it. Just tighten it of one end. Once you feel that it's enough tension of one end, you know it's fine. So the one at the top, the one with the pipes going to the radiator, basically the, that one you should also just tighten it. I just made sure I tighten it properly because obviously uh, there's one bolt holding it where the external full housing is three bolts holding it. So I did kind of bolt it, like tighten it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, do not over torque them. I mean, it's basically it's plastic. If you're going to tighten it too much, you're going to break the plastic, right? Some thunder. 
you're just gonna break the plastic and yeah you're gonna have to go buy a new external housing it's gonna take even longer again to complete your car and there we go everyone literally we are basically done with the install uh, so for me I still have to throw in oil and all of that but I'll do that in another video the one coming after this video basically this video once again just covered uh, how to install the external filter housing and then obviously if you want to change the filter in the housing the external housing you're basically just going to turn it loose it's got like a clip where it closes in you're just going to lift it up remove it change the filter screw it back in and that is it so anyway it is super loud here i do hope you guys saw everything clearly i tried my ultimate best it was not that easy uh, there's very little space especially because i took it off the ramps and it's on jack stands now basically it's for the second part of the video but anyway i'm gonna drop this video right over here thank you so much for everyone watching if you have any questions drop it in the comments below i'll try to see to answer everyone as you guys need help but i'm not a i'm not the best expert but i'll try my best <laughs> just make sure you put in new o-rings literally those old o-rings i struggled to get them out i never inspected them but i just told myself regardless if they're good or not i'm gonna change it it's a lot of work to get down there uh, get the car up and do everything and then have to redo it because you've got a small leak because of a stupid o-ring that was like uh in dollars maybe like three dollars or five dollars or something <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching it is pouring out here have a look it's still pouring and we have some newspaper at least they closed it <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much for watching i'll see all of you legends in the next one